Um, and everybody lost their mind because Freen said that she was with somebody, but she didn't admit out loud that it was Becky. Now, let me say this. If you think that Freen is in a relationship with someone other than Rebecca Patricia Armstrong, you have not been paying attention. Solicit Nation, it's your girl Nikki, and I'm back with another unsolicited truth reaction. Hello, if you're new, welcome back. If you're not, if you enjoy the content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below so we can keep this party going. And please, guys, continue to watch the ads, continue to hit the thanks button, continue to subscribe, and please continue to hit the join button in the top right hand corner on the main channel page because that gives you access to exclusive content and exclusive perks that only the elite solicit members can have. I appreciate all of the support, and you guys help me do this on a full time basis, so thank you so much for that. With that being said, I'm about to get into some more free Becky um this is gonna be a real quick video but I'm gonna react to uh this little snippet of this interview that free did um as well as um reacting to the interview that just dropped with them on K Musify um I'm gonna be reacting to that video it's like eight minutes long or so but um I have to say one uh I heard that Becky fainted yesterday um I'm sending prayer and healing to her and, you know, Freen has been sick as well recently. And as much as I love the demand for them because their success is like in their stardom is going through the roof. I hope that they are given some kind of um, respite or um, resting period here in the next coming days because they need it, man. These girls are working and running themselves ragged. And it's no reason why Becky should be put in a position where she's fainting and all this other crap that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Um, hopefully they can get some rest. Hopefully they can take a little vacation and just take time to themselves. You know what I mean? Um, uh, and with that being said, uh, I hope she feels better. And I hope that, you know, her and Freen get the time off that they need. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. This is an interview that had the internet, these interwebs in a tizzy for the last 24 to 48 hours because of what Freen said in this interview. Now, I have already seen this clip, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it play. And then I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on what Freen said. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. All right, now this is the part that we're talking about right here. Before, she, I guess she was actually asked her, you know, like, what kind of animal do you want to be? Or if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Or something like that. But this is Freen admitting that, you know what, I'm going to let her talk and then I'll get into it. All right, real quick, let me stop it right there. So basically what Freen said was, you know, she admitted that she's dating someone. She admitted that she's dating someone. Um, and she said that, you know, in the past, she's been with people who were too much, that were too much. And then she's been with people who were too little. And she feels like this person is her Goldilocks. This person is perfect. This person is right there. Um, uh, this person is not too much and not too little. This person is perfect for her. And she's extremely happy with this person because this person seems to, you know, fulfill all the wants and needs and everything like that, so to speak, um, that she has. Um, and everybody lost their mind because Freen said that she was with somebody, but she didn't admit out loud that it was Becky. Now, let me say this. If you think that Freen is in a relationship with someone other than Rebecca Patricia Armstrong, you have not been paying attention. And the reason why I say that is because there is no one on God's green earth. I don't care what their contracts say. There is no one on God's green earth earth who would let her be in such a friendship with Becky right at the same time that she's in a relationship with them and I mean like 
all those moments, I'm not talking about the moments that we catch on camera when they know that the cameras are rolling and they're, you know, very affectionate. Those those moments are despite the fact, right? Because even in those moments, you can look and see that their chemistry extends beyond what's scripted and what's on the screen. I'm talking about those moments when they don't know that cameras are on them. They're just in their own little world. The things that, the, bro, let me tell you something. If I was one of their partners, if they both had respective partners and they weren't dating each other and I saw that shit, it would cause... It would cause some extreme issues of trust in my relationship. I would automatically assume they got some Brad and Angelina energy, and I'm Je Jennifer Aniston sitting on the sideline like, "Why you? What the? What is? What the? What is this?" Ain't no damn way that she's not talking about Becky. Everybody that thinks that she's not talking about Becky, you haven't been paying attention, and you let the fact that she didn't announce who she's with. So here's what my theory is. My theory is after the 12 episode comes out tomorrow, after the final episode of the Gap series comes out tomorrow, even though they signed up to do another project together with Idol Factory, I believe that they are going to be more... I don't know if they're going to come right out and be like, hi, I'm Freen, I'm dating Becky, and Becky's going to be like, hi, I'm Becky, I'm dating Freen. But I do think I am under the impression, this is my theory and my theory alone, I believe that they are going to be open about their relationship in the sense that they're just not going to deny it because they don't really deny it now. Whenever somebody asks them, if you've seen any of their recent interviews, whenever somebody goes, um, people want you to, like, there was one interview they did, like, oh, people want you to be a real ship, or why do you think people want you to be a real ship and not just like a, you know, and they just laugh and smile and look at each other. And I, if y'all, I have to assume that the people who think or who lost it over freeing and Becky, I have to assume that the people who lost their shit over this interview are extremely young and haven't experienced being in a real relationship. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that these are maybe like teenagers, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe early 20s, but, but like young, young, young 20s, like 20, 21. Um, maybe 22. I, that's the only thing I can assume because anybody that's been in a real relationship already knows the vibe that they have. Whether they say it out loud or not, everybody knows the vibe. Everybody knows the vibe. Um, this is not a situation where they're like flat out denying it. They're just not admitting to it. But I think Freen saying this, and somebody said that Freen, this interview was done on the same day that Becky got on live and corrected and cleaned up all these rumors of her being in relationships with her other co-star. Uh, there was a couple of dudes that I think that they were trying to ship, people were trying to ship her with and saying that she was in a relationship with them, Becky. And Becky got online and she was like, nah, let me go ahead and clear this up real quick. And she she <laughs> she cleared that shit up in English. I saw, I know she was serious. She was like, let me get this, let me give y'all the, the, the skinny and let y'all know what it really is. So I say all that to say, Freen admitting that she is in a relationship with someone and not admitting that it's Becky does not mean or does not uh, convince me in any way that it's anyone other than Becky. Of course it's Becky. If you, if you think it's anybody other than Becky, you have not been paying attention. Of course it's Becky. Of course, bro. Of course. She said, I'm happy now. I think that they're going to, like I said, I think after the Gap series ends, I think that they're going to be a little bit more um, apparent about who they're in a relationship with. As if we, as if they haven't already been like extremely transparent about it now, but I think they're going to just be a more, a little bit more obvious and overt about it. They obviously haven't denied it yet. They keep calling each other sisters, but when asked exclusively if they're in a relationship, they they may they basically just be like ah and they giggle and ah, ah. Well, okay. คนนี้หมายถึงใครอ่ะคุณตายอ่ะคุณตายคุณได้คุณได้คุณได้อยู่ในสปริงละกันมันไลไลมันอบอุ่นมันคืออันเนี้ยมันคือความอบอุ่น
in their lives and don't actually live their lives. And that's so unfortunate. You know, so many people, they, they go to work, they come home, um, they go to, they eat, they sleep, they go to work, they come home and they do that for 60, 50, 70 plus years. Um, they retire and then two, three, four, five years later, they die. That's not okay, man. You, you have got to figure out a way to um, live your life and live it to the fullest and take advantage of every opportunity that's presented in front of you. Don't be afraid of taking risks. Don't be afraid of stepping outside of the box. Don't be afraid of going against the grain, going against what you've been raised to believe to be true. Test everything for yourself before you decide what is right for you. And that's in relationships, religion, politics, education, food, adventure, whatever the category, whatever the case or the choices in front of you, test it for yourself. Don't just listen to what somebody else says or watch somebody else's experience and let that be your determination. You have to decide for yourself. And that's what I think she means when she says live to live, man. You got to live for yourself and you got to live for what makes you happy. Mm. That's right. You live. That's right. You live for today. Um. Uh. Now let me get into. This is the new uh, K Musafai um video. I think they actually did this one in English, if I'm not mistaken. So in this interview, this joint just dropped this morning. Um. If you did this interview, uh, you see the title. They're talking about soulmates, dating, unique talents, and more. This is on the K Musafai um channel. Make sure you go watch the original there. Give them a follow and everything like that. But um, yeah, man, I'm not gonna hold this up. Let's get into it. No, how can you lie? I can do this. What? <laughs> Keep up with trends on K Musify. I love when Becky speaks in English. Hi, I'm Finn. And I'm Becky. And this is Ask Idol. I just have a few questions for you both. Uh, first question. Can you hear? Fans scroll around Twitter to get updates you from you guys. Do you also scroll around Twitter to see what the fans are up to? They had to ask Freen and um, Ty. Damn, why is it so low? Is she... Should I turn the subtitles on, y'all? I'm gonna turn the subtitles on just to be safe. I always use Twitter. We, we have it as a now like yeah every morning every night we see fans like oh good morning good night like uh we see that they're they're always sending us messages so hold on y'all do it every morning every night what'd you say we have it as like a routine now like yeah every morning every night we see it be them little moments like that it be them little moments like that we it's a routine now every morning every night y'all say hi and bye to the fans y'all scroll around and see what they doing that mean yeah, together Dude, cause I'm a, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm a, I'm just, I'm just asking, I'm just asking. I know they don't live together, but I'm pretty certain they probably spend most of their their nights and mornings together. So that makes sense. It's their routine. That makes sense. Y'all know. Look, if you're new here, I overanalyze, I overthink everything. If you do not like that, then you are in the wrong place. But if you like to go into a rabbit hole, it, at this point, it's a black hole. We were talking about that earlier today, some of my people in the comments. If it, at this point, this is not even a rabbit hole anymore with Freem, Becky, and Inglot. This is a black hole. If you don't like deep dives and different things like that or overanalyzing things, you're not going to like this channel. But if you love that, then welcome to Solicit Nation and the Unsolicited Truth. I am your host, Nikki. Let's get back into it. <laughs> uh, we see that. They're, they're always sending us messages, so we, we also send messages back sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. That's sweet. Uh, second question, if you believe in soulmates, do you think you've met yours? Ooh! If you believe in soulmates, do you think you've met yours? I love it. I love it. answer is yes because if they had look let me tell you something again it's the way that becky looks to freen to see how freen is going to respond she defers to freen a lot like if freen is going i feel like because somebody pointed this out becky don't care 
If you and we gonna do some deep dives into their lives. When I say Becky don't care, Becky don't give a damn. And it may be because she's younger. She's twenty, about to be twenty one. Freen is twenty four, turning twenty five this year. If Becky be like ready to tell the world, bro. But Freen, who obviously has a little bit more time and grade in the in the industry, she's a little bit more reserved and a little bit more private. Um, and so I love the way that Becky always looks to Freen to see how Freen's gonna answer. But if they weren't dating each other, right? If they already, if it, they would, that that's a quick question. Somebody asked me right now. I'm not seeing anybody. Somebody asked me right now. Have you believe? Do you believe you met your soulmate? No, not romantically. I do believe in all kinds of soulmates. Like I believe in friend soulmates and different things like that. But no, I I have not met my romantic soulmate. The way that they hemming and hawing, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a American term. The way they're hemming and hawing around this shit. Why is why is this such a hard question? Either you met your soulmate or you haven't. Is it because you're sitting next to your soulmate, but you can't admit that's your soulmate? And you know if you say, yes, I think I've met my soulmate, then they're going to be like, well, who is it? And then you're going to have another awkward moment. Yeah, we might. Yeah, what, hold on, what did she say? She said, we haven't met yet, maybe someday. That's what Freen just said. We haven't met yet, maybe someday. Y'all think that they have a conversation before they go into these interviews? Like, babe, you know I gotta say what I gotta say in this interview, but you know you might. <laughs> that's, where my, that's where my obsessive mind goes. My mind says, because that's what I would do. If I know we got to answer questions like this, because you know these questions are inevitable just because of the chemistry that they have, I would 100%, 100% do that. And I'm certain that they've had those conversations that they know that they got. It's just like Ink Fa and Charlotte. They have to say what they have to say in order to maintain their privacy. And I'm not knocking that. I'm not trying to invade their privacy. But, you know, body language speaks louder than words do. Words can be deceiving. Most of the time, you can't hide your body language because unless you study body language yourself and you know how to manipulate your body language to match your words, the way that most people, you know what I'm saying, like investigators and different things like that, the reason why that they can tell when people are lying is because when you open your mouth and say something, your body generally reacts differently. So if I'm lying, right, and I'm lying, but say if you ask me a yes or no question and the real answer is yes, but I'm telling you no. A lot of times people will be like, no. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. And it's like, it's weird because it's like your first reaction, if you're really saying no, your reaction will be to shake your head no. But if you say no, but you're nodding your head, that's your body language betraying what your words are saying. Now go back and watch how they react, how they responded. She's saying no, not yet, as she's shaking her head yes. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's soulmates. Um, don't know if I've met mine yet. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> mad. Don't know. Don't know. See, now Becky said, Freen said, no, not yet. Freen said, no, not yet. Becky said, I don't know if I've met my soulmate. See, affection and acts of service. I feel like that's, I, I do feel like that's hers. I think my love language would be, I think words as well, words of affection. I would be like, yeah, have a good day today, smile a lot, similar, eat a lot. Um, do you need a hug, anything? Or Acts maybe looking after you in a way, probably like, oh, buying you what you want, or oh, go gift out giving to eat. is one too. What do you want to eat? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. A question from Incorrect Free. Can you share with us a talent or skill that you have? That 
ูหักข้อนิ้วได้ What did she say? เดี๋ยวแล้วเดี๋ยวแล้ว She can She can jump like this Double join it. Can I do that? Gun, gun. I can do no. this. What? <laughs> yeah, I can do this. Double. Yeah, double. Yeah, double. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's doing that. Oh, we gotta wear finger twins. Okay. หนูว่าช่วงเวลานี้การอยู่ด้วยกันในห้องหรือว่าทานข้าวด้วยกันแบบเป็นเซฟโซนของกันและกันก็ก็ถือว่าน่ารักเลยค่ะ So the lives that we've seen <laughs> So them sitting on live eating and chilling in the room those are their dates I'm just I'm that's what that's what she said Don't come at me I don't care if you think I'm overanalyzing and that's what she said. That's what Freen said. So basically, we've seen their dates. Most of them. A lot of them. A few of them. Probably not most. A lot of them, right? Them sitting in the room, eating noodles together. You know what I'm saying? Eating sushi together on live, just chilling. There was one live. I got to find that joint where Becky had on a... Um, She had a Manchester United uh, jersey. By the way, Manchester United is also my football club. Shout out to Man U. Um, uh, they've been my team since 2012. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Um, but uh, I think that yeah, it was that live. Becky was doing work. She was doing her homework. She was doing like classwork, and she wasn't even really talking. She was literally doing her classwork. When I tell you, Freen sat there damn near the whole time like this. Just watching her. That's not some shit you don't do if you're not in love. That's not what you don't do that unless you're in love. Yep. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. All right. I found it. Look. 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 look watch. Just watch. Just. Just. Just watch. Just watch. This is the live where Becky. Like I said, Becky. Look. They call it. Somebody called it a study date. But Becky is literally just doing her schoolwork. Look. At, watch Freem. Just. I ain't even gonna say shit. Just watch Freem. I don't know if the music is gonna get me copyrighted, so I just turned it down. Look at this. Look, look at this. Oh, I didn't mean to start it over. Well, God knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn it over. Just trying to turn the volume down. Freen, like, do you want to take a break? Becky, like, no, nah, I gotta do my work. She's like, I'm just studying. She's like, you look tired. Look at her worrying about her, them acts of service. Look at it, just I don't want you to get sick again. And she looking. Yeah. Now this was back. This was obviously a throwback because look at how long Becky's hair was. But even back then, if you watch Freen, Freen was just content. Freen was just content to like just stare at her. She was reading the comments a little bit, but she was also literally just, bruh. Y'all gotta go back and find the whole live. You look so cute with your braid. Look, 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 look. She was just sitting there looking at her, bruh. You're so pretty. Makes my heart swell. I'm not doing this with them. I'm not doing this with them. Look at Becky. Look at Becky posing for her and shit. Look. Again, cute. How many times you gonna call the girl cute? Again, pretty. I want y'all to count how many times she look. Even Becky said, "Oh, again, 
She was literally just, she was lost, bro. Freen was literally just lost in the sauce in that joint. She was just sitting there in admiration, like, looking at her. She called her pretty and cute, like, every five, it was like every five seconds, every five minutes. She was like, bruh, I love my friends. And I tell them, and I compliment them, and I tell them that they're beautiful. But every five minutes, we just sitting on the line, I'm like, oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, my God. You're, you're just making my heart swell. Bruh, I don't love none of my friends that much. <laughs> I don't love none of my friends that much. You know, that is a safe zone for us. Uh, that's the perfect night for you. I think perfect date, you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to have anything particular in time. But I think it's it's who you're with and how you spend your time together. So it could just be literally watching Netflix at home, ordering Netflix and chill, know, baby. food delivery. Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly what they do. Question from and we've seen them. Zero. Becky and Fleet, what song will you dedicate to each other? Based on what you feel for each other, sending lots of love. Based on what you feel for each other. Uh, All right. I got, no, huh? Yeah, you damn right. I'm gonna look the lyrics up. So, this is the song. So, this is the song you want to dedicate to your sister. I want you to know, I love you the most. I'll always be right there by your side. Because, baby, you're always in my mind. Just give me your forever. Give me your forever. I want you to know that you'll be the one and I'll be the guy, the girl, who'll be on her knees to say I love you and I need you. And I'd say I die for you. Just give me your forever. She said, dedicate a song to each other based on your feelings. That's what the fan asked. And Freen immediately, I want you to know I love you the most. I'll always be right there by your side. Out of here. Out of here. Get out of here, Freen. Give me your forever. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Give me your forever, bruh. I have probably two. Um, perfect of Ed Sheeran or Photograph of Ed Sheeran. Uh -huh. Photograph. Look, hold on. Wait, hold on. She said what? Perfect. Perfect of Ed Sheeran. Perfect. All right. Nope. We gonna look. Y'all already know what y'all signed up for here. We gonna look up. Perfect. Let's go. Perfect. So we heard with Freen dedicated. So perfect lyrics by Ed Sheeran. All right. I found a love for me. <laughs> I found a love for me, darling. Just dive right in and and follow my lead. Well, I found a girl, beautiful and sweet. Oh, I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. Cuz we were just kids when we fell in love, not knowing what it was. I will not give up uh, this time, but darling, just kiss me slow. Your heart is your heart is all I own, and in your eyes, you're holding mine. I ain't even gonna read Y'all go read the rest. And then we all know photograph. Hold on, let me pull up photograph. Hold on. Hold on, let me pull up photograph. <clears throat> Loving can hurt. Loving can hurt sometimes. But it's the only thing that I know. When it gets hard, you know it can get hard sometimes. It is the only thing that it is the only thing that makes us feel alive. We keep this love in a photograph. We made these memories for ourselves where our eyes are never closing, hearts are never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me closer till our eyes meet. You won't ever be alone. Wait for me to come home. You know what song I think about? when? It, what song I would dedicate to my brothers? You know what I'm saying? Because we're siblings. Best friend by um brandy so never hesitate to call because i'm your sister and always for you and then it goes don't know what i ever do without you from the beginning to the end you've always been here right beside me so i'll call you my best friend that's the song that i when i when i think about my brothers that's the song that i dedicate to them immediately best friend by brandy right not photographed by Escherin. Not perfect by Ed Sheeran, and for damn sure, 
not um uh give me your forever. That is <laughs> out of control. Sharon or photograph of it, Sharon. Because a perfect girl. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I can't with them. Oh, oh, let me show you something. I also, I told y'all, I studied body language. I studied body language, right? Something that you can always tell, there is a, um, if you ever studied body language, there's this thing called the green line test, right? And the green line test, basically you draw a line, basically from above, right above somebody's head, all the way through their center, right? And based on the way that person, a person, you know, is postured next to someone else you can tell like if they are you know what like if if they basically you can tell what kind of relationship they have so when you see two people and they're constantly leaning into each other like these two do and they're constantly touching um that shows you like the level of like affection and intimacy they have when you see a couple and you notice that they're always leaning away from each other that shows you that there is a lack of intimacy a lack of affection between them these two are always always finding a way to lean into each other if i was somebody who did not know them did not know have any context of who they were and i just did a green line test with no i didn't hear anything they were saying and i just did a green line test based on their body language i would automatically assume that they were together automatically <laughs> <laughs> Automatically. Question Look at them. At C or M off underscore. Congratulations on the success of that business. Thank you. What advice would you give to those couples who have the same problem as Sam and me? จริงๆหนูว่าจับมือกันแล้วก็อยู่ด้วยกันผ่านเรื่องราวต่างๆในวันที่มีความสุขแล้วก็มีความถึงไปให้ได้ค่ะแบบว่าถ้าเรายังรักกันเราจะผ่านอะไรแบบนี้ไปได้วยกันในทุกๆวันได้อยู่แล้วฟินเชื่อแบบนั้น That's right. I think believe in your love. I think mm. just trust each other. The, it's so important. Just you two communicate. Um, just trust each other. The, it's so important. Just you two communicate. Again, body language. Trust each other. You two communicate. And she looks down towards Freen and gestures between the two of them. Body language. If you I, look, body language tells the story, y'all. And that's for Ingla and for Freen. There's a lot of people that think that the um, that Ingfa and Charlotte have been doing fan service, right? They think that they're just catering to the fans because that's what the fans want, and is they're, they're getting paychecks and everything like this. Let me explain something to you. The chemistry and the connection and the feelings that those two women have is genuine, just like Freen and Becky. The issue is that they are surrounded by people who want to exploit a genuine. Um, relationship for the sake of money. That's just the truth. And y'all can say that I'm. Y'all can come at me if you want to, but I'm telling you, they are not the ones who are responsible for basically the exploitation of their relationship. The people around them see the kind of stardom that their coupleship and their relationship has brought, and they're gonna take advantage of that. They're gonna get as much money out of it as they can. But I'm telling you, Ingfa and Charlotte would have already been dating. And I think Ingfa was the one that said this. Ingfa and Charlotte would already have been dating if they weren't in the situation that they're in now. You know what I'm saying? Like contracted and having to work and having a working relationship and everything like that. They would have already been in a full blown relationship. And I agree. I think that if they both had went to the MGT pageant and neither one of them had won, I believe that they would have kept in contact. And I think that they would have had a relationship. And I think that, that they would be full on dating right now. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I still believe that they have feelings for each other. And I have never said that they were actually together together as a couple. I don't believe that they have titles yet. But I do believe that they are exploring their feelings for each other right now. But I think that they're in a very um, precarious and unfortunate situation because they are contracted to work together. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if they were to try to make their situation more serious right now and then something were to happen and they had a falling out or they broke up, that would get messy, bro. That would be crazy. And then they would still have to work together. And Charlotte already said that she wouldn't be able to do that. Charlotte said that. I think Fa would be able to push through because she's an Aquarius and she's she gonna get that bag no matter what. 
But I do think that Charlotte would have had a harder time doing that. Um, but I say this to say that they're not giving fan service just because they're making money off of it. You know, it doesn't mean I feel like just like Becky and Freen, their situation was they were put they were pushed together and because of work and they genuinely started to like each other and the people around them realized how profitable that was and they were like oh snap let's do this you know what i'm saying because freen and becky did scoy for secret crush on you and i think that you know a lot of their uh, fans started to notice their chemistry then and you know saint was like you know i'm gonna put them as front runners in a romantic situation and it, it just blew out the roof and they were like oh hell yeah that's why they on that's why they signed up to do another series with them so i mean to me if you're going to accuse inglot of being friend ser fan service then you have to say the same thing about freeing becky but i don't think it's true of either couple i think that they are both i think that all four women are in a situation where they genuinely care for each other they genuinely have love but everyone around them you know is recognizing the the power of their stardom and the power of their fandom and they want to take advantage of that and get as much money out of it as they can but don't get it twisted the girls are getting paid all the girls are getting paid you know what i'm saying so and i also said this i said that to me i feel like <laughs> i feel like inglot is freeing becky just four years in the future <laughs> you know what i'm saying because uh freeing is 24 ingfa is 28 um uh becky turns 21 this year uh uh and um charlotte just turned Be becky's 20 and charlotte's 24 right it, yeah right yeah so to me i just feel like they're just ingla is uh freeing becky just four years in the future that's the joke that i was uh i had going with myself <laughs> nobody else was here for me to tell the joke too so I, I, that's the joke i told myself but um yeah man i don't call it fan service man because i think it takes away from the genuine chemistry and the genuine love that these girls have for each other and y'all calling it fan service may make them start to question whether or not they're genuinely together or are they just together for the sake of you know the benefit of being a couple don't do that man let them figure it out let it all like fa said let it all happen organically let it all happen real and i believe if it was fan service i believe that inglot would be doing more than what they'd be doing and giving us these little bitty ass moments bruh <laughs> eight um be with each other spend time with each other and there will be ups and downs, but I think that's that's normal in a relationship. Mm. But yeah, trust each other and love each other. <laughs> rubbing off tulips. <laughs> like, why you keep looking at me? Say relationship. B I K S S. If you would be granted one wish, what would that be? Oh, that's good. If you could be granted one wish, what would it be? No, yeah, call hi, hi, do a bit of I want to be. Uh, invisible and go to anywhere I want. She said she wanted what? And go to. I want to be uh, invisible and go to anywhere I want. She want to be what? In the what? What did she say? Damn it! I don't know what she said. I heard that I want to go anywhere I want, but what was the first part? No what? Wait, I I thought you would say. <laughs> Not Make get sick. Yeah. Oh, mm. I, I would I would wish <laughs> I would wish for Freen yeah. to not get sick mm -hmm. or have any sadness in her heart. Mm. Yeah. Is that it? Oh. Best question. Two lucky winners will receive a special gift from K Musify signed by Freen and Becky. Oh. Hey. ชอบชอบเพลงกับเอ่อการอะไรนะคะที่คนรักมีปัญหาค่ะแล้วให้ต่อสู้ยังไงเออโอเคสรุปว่าทุกคนจะวินอ่ะค่ะแล้วให้
I will be watching the final episode of Gap the Series live right here. Make sure you guys tune in. I might even go down another Freem Becky Inglot rabbit hole. Who knows? Who knows? It's up to what y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm here for y'all and I'm enjoying going down these rabbit holes with you guys. But with that being said, Solicit Nation, if you guys enjoyed this reaction as much as I did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't be afraid to share. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload. And if you've been here before, then you already know I gotta hit y'all with the deuces.